So good day, I'm Engineer Vince, a licensed electronics engineer. So welcome to my channel. So I guess your ECE student or reviewer, right? Since malapit na ulit ang ECE board exam or you're planning to take uh, electronics engineering. So based on my experience, I will share to you my top 10 tips and tricks how I pass the ECE board exam. Let's go! Tip number one, motivation. You need to have a solid motivation in order to keep your fire burning during your review period. Because most of the time it's difficult and sometimes you feel bored but that's normal. So you need to have a proper motivation in order to keep you moving. For example, you want to make your parents proud na masabi nila, engineer na yung anak ko. Or also for yourself kasi kaya ka nag-enroll ng engineering para mag engineer ka, di ba? Right? So, you need to have a good motivation. Tip number two, time management. This is the most important tip to pass the ACE board exam because time is very limited. You need to manage it well. Hindi mo na mamalayan ilang days sa lang board exam na. So, set up a schedule depending on your pace. Basta dapat, don't let the day pass na wala ka na aral. Kahit one hour lang, dapat may maaral ka for that day. And make a consistent time na kahit tinatamad ka or pagod ka mag-aaral ka pa. Tip number three, avoid games, social media, or anything that is not relevant to review. To be honest, I deleted my games and I deactivate all my social media accounts during my review period. Kaya nang sobrang focus ako. Kasi sometimes... When you see a negative post or na trash to ka sa game, it may distract you or tilt you while you were reviewing. So, just focus on your review. Tip number four, master the basics and the fundamental. Kasi most of the problems naman dun lang umiikot. And come to think of it, what if hinurapan ng examiner yung board exam? Sigurado, hindi mo masasagutan lahat and mauubos yung time mo if the problem is what we are used to in college. So, iba pa rin kung master mo yung fundamentals at talaga. Tip number five, don't just memorize the formula. Gamitin mo siya. I used to have a formulas written on my walls, but bago ko siya idikit, ginagamit ko siya sa problems 10 times. And, wala rin sense kung marami kang alam na formula kung di mo na maalam kung saan gagamitin to or kung paano. The logic is parang bumili ka ng bike and the purpose of having a bike is para makapunta ka kung saan gusto. But the thing is, you didn't practice how to ride or balance the bike. So, wala. Useless din. Tip number 6. Solve, solve, solve. Mag-solve ka ng napakaraming problems hanggang maintindihan mo siya. Huwag kang lulubay hanggat di mo siya nasosolve ng nakapikit. Or, di pwede yung na-solve mo, nakatama ka. Pero, na-solve mo siya using chamba. So, hindi pwede yun. You need to master the craft and make effort on it. Tip number seven, find the right group or study peer. But you don't just need to find a normal study peer. Dapat yung sobrang eager na mag-engineer yung gigil na gigil waka pa sa yung support exam and willing to go all in talaga sa pag-aaral. And, I think ito yung hindi ko makakalimutan na tip kasi Kung hindi ako napasama sa mga tropa ko, sigurado bagsak ako kasi sobrang confident ako nun and akala ko kaya ko na and hindi pala ang dami ko pa pala hindi alam. So, you need to find the good study group kasi it, it, it feels different kasi you feel motivated all the time and minsan merong kompetensya and doon yung matcha-challenge isa din. Tip number 8, ito pinakagasgas na, study smart. If alam mong may shortcut na siya, mnemonics or calculator techniques, make sure na gamitin mo na siya. Kasi dinisign yung para mapagbilis yung pag-aaral natin. And in fact, nung review period ko, pag alam kong may shortcut siya or calculator techniques, hindi ko na inaral yung full concept kasi sobrang limited lang ng time. And sa board exam, may klile oras. Kailangan magsagot na mabilis, pero dapat tama na. Tip number 9, pray hard. Sometimes we are discouraged pag mababa yung nakuha natin sa pre-board at quizzes. During my review days, kahit isa wala akong naipasang quiz at pre-board. 
Siyempre, masasad ako and I'll question myself kung handa na ako. But whenever I get in that situation, I'll just pray and ask guidance to Him para guman at lumakas loob ko para ipasa yung board exam. And always remember na hindi kanya pababayaan. Just trust His timing and also claim mo na na magiging engineer ka. For the last tip, always think a reason why you should need to pass the board exam. Simple tip pero it makes difference. Dapat may pinanghuhuputan ka because it gives you a courage to pass the ECE board exam. And that's it. With that, sana may natutunan ka and natulong yung tips ko. And also, I do have a engineering video tutorial here in my channel. So, please watch and thank you for watching.